Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer, Cancerians. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Cancerians. This is going to be your Valentine Be Mine readings, okay? So if you want to purchase the extended, click on the link below. It's in the Zodiac Intimate Reading section of my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And always match up the title of this video to the one you want to rent, okay? There can be no confusion if you do it that way. Now, if you would like to follow me on Patreon, all of my erotic tarot readings are there. Not the ones that I rent on my website, but they're totally separate. There's like nine of them there right now. Click on the link below and you can become a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for all of the new patrons. All right, Cancer, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I mean, are you fucking kidding? There's something here about angelic guidance because not only do you see that angel cherub behind his shoulder, but I'm very drawn to mine there. You see that? That That's an angel cherub that I, a little statue that I've had for like, I swear to God, 19, 20 years. Um, there's something about angelic guidance. Maybe there is Cupid. Maybe like a Cupid energy brought the two of you guys together or something, right? I don't know, but there's this like Cupid vibe. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go. This is Cupid. There's some kind of like third party assistance that happened here. Whether it's angelic, whether it's your spirit guides and angels, or whether this was... No, it definitely feels angelic. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And look at who's in, behind it. It's someone with angel wings. It's like an angel. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So for some of you guys, this immediately I saw in my head, if you're in an, a relationship that you think you need to be in because you're afraid to hurt the other person or because you're afraid to disappoint the families or whatever that would be, that's what I saw immediately. Because I think for a lot of people, that's, that's what they've done is sort of stay in something because they think they're supposed to. They're afraid of disappointing the partner, other people, the tower. And then there's the divine intervention. Dun, dun, dun. So the tower can be a very sudden ending. Could also be a very sudden in the beginning, but it's also divine intervention. And that's what I felt with, that's connected with these two people. It's like the angels got together. Oh my God, it's like that one song by Karen Carpenter. And the angels got together to create a dream come true. So they sprinkle in the sting your hair. You know that song? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. That's what that's called, it's close to you. So the Empress comes out, birth of a cycle, but this could be pregnancy. This is also the mother energy. That's you guys, right? Cancerian energy is the mother energy. There is this brand new, oh, I was just going to say brand new cycle. And there's the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is single and they're flourishing, honey. See, they're, they're making a lot of fucking money. They're very independent. Someone here may have stumbled upon something uh, that has to do with like fortune or luck because it feels like they've got a lot of money, honey, and it has to do with something universal with the with with the wheel of fortune. It's like it's like it's part of this person's destiny to be surrounded by abundance. Remember the empress is here as well, that's abundance. Then you have the lovers, of course, because it's look at the angel above. See by the sun there's strong angelic presence here whether it's past loved ones whether it is your spirit guides and angels right seven of pentacles three of pentacles mm, someone here is like bored that's what i heard i heard bored someone's bored in a particular partnership 
This could be a marriage. It could be a relationship. Someone's bored. Six of Pentacles. That's balance. Someone's trying to just keep things. Remember, it's not about rocking the boat. They want to keep things very even toned. Three of Wands waiting for a change. Temperance. Balance. Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Someone's real surround, surrounded by a lot of fucking money or abundance. Okay, someone is, someone could have inherited money. Someone could have won money. I don't know. This could be someone who just makes a lot of money in their occupation. But someone's surrounded by a lot of pentacles. The High Priestess. Someone's very spiritual here. Very connected to the divine. Someone here might also be keeping a secret. There's a secret here. I don't feel third party cheating, but I do feel that there is a secret. Now, this could be for those that are in a relationship right now, that the secret is to keeping it to themselves that like, I'm not happy and I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Right? So there could be that kind of a secret. And, and I don't feel there's cheating here at all. I just don't. Oh, what was that? The cross and the lady. So the lady is clearly a feminine, honey. This would be a woman, okay? This is someone here who could be a significant other. This could be a friend, but I, it feels like it's a love interest, okay? So somebody here has got their eye on the lady, honey. You also have the cross, which speaks about spirituality. Cross is about divinity. It could be about prayer. The cross is uh, like literally somebody and I'm going to tell you what, what I feel. It feels like, again, spiritual divine intervention. Like, like there's a lot of spirituality around this. So this would be heavy, angelic, heavenly, spiritual energy around this. And it's very heavy, too. There's a lot of heavy, heavy, etheric, otherworldly <clears throat> vibes. the clover fucking luck again luck good fortune it's just somebody's really fortunate someone's luck is changing as well okay now you also have the birds which is about communication and being nervous and flighty and that that does speak of being a cancerian they could be depending what they have in their chart especially cancerian men they're very nervous about rejection yeah that's their absolute fear a cancerian man they're very hard on, on the outside of their shell but that inside's mush okay they're very afraid of, of rejection someone here could be nervous to communicate See the chariot. There you are, Cancerian. Told you. It's, it's definitely the Cancer that could be very hesitant, very nervous. Um, and then the island. The island is about separation and standoffish and, 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 and being spread out, right? Creating space. So if some of you guys are dealing with a person and there is like no communication or they've purposely ghost you, it could be because of that. Like they shut down the garden, public, making it known. It's also about meeting, making a date. There could be a date. How this works, if it's actual romantic or not, I don't know. But it's making a date, setting a date, picking a date. The rabbits, new beginnings, sex, procreation, desire, fertility. Now, if you ain't trying to get pregnant, honey, you better be careful because this energy is screaming fertile. Okay, it's fertile myrtle. But there's a lot of sexual energy here. They want to bone you. <laughs> it's no other way to put it. The hummingbird is enjoyment, being present, rapid response. A lot of, a lot of what, once they get comfortable, there's going to be a lot of communication. Not in the beginning, because remember, they're very hesitant. There's a lot of like lack of reciprocation in the communication department at first. You have the loons here, kind of seals the deal. I say that because the loons is deep commitment. It's uncommon bonds. It's family. It's reawakening lost hope and manifesting deep desire. So there's this extremely ridiculous, strange bond or connection that you might feel 
with another person, okay? And this particular connection or bond that you feel with another person could be scary, especially if you're afraid of rejection, especially if you could be in another relationship and, and you're going, oh my God, like with the pressure of this, like, you know, magician. Magician is communication. It's also a manifestation. Man someone's manifesting something. And then the falcon, which is third eye. Falcon is also about rising above, right? It's about a transition, it's changes, but it's also higher self. So the higher self here could talk about somebody who's going through an ascension process, right? They're cracking open. But it also can speak about seeing things from a different perspective, right? Rising up and looking at it from a higher perspective means that you are seeing all aspects of this, right? You're seeing it from every angle, if you will, right? Um, this energy here with mom, mm. wait, hold on. Sorry about that, Cancerian. So this would be seeing things from a higher perspective from, from a point of maybe ascension. This person may have, they may have cracked open. Um, this is some sort of spiritual awakening that could be happening here as well. Okay. Um, we are going to go into your extended, and if you want to purchase your extended, then click on the link below, and it would be in the, it's going to be in the Intimate Zodiac Extended, which, which means I'm going to use the Sexual Tarot Magic deck cards in the extended reading, so do not purchase if that makes you uncomfortable, um, but match up the title, match up the default with what you want to rent, you'll never go wrong, okay? So I want to thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And don't forget, if you want to be a patron on my new Patreon, please click on the link below, okay? And I will see you guys in your extended. Love you. Bye.